pretty popular dessert that's in a lot of restaurants nowadays, and it's very easy to make. You can make it at home. Molten lava cakes. Um, I'm going to start off with some ramekins, which are these small little cups that I'm sure most of you have. And what I've done is I buttered them and then I dusted them with cocoa. You don't have to dust them with cocoa, you can dust them with sugar if you want, but it's a chocolate dessert, more chocolate. In my mixer bowl, I'm going to start off with one quarter cup of butter and one third cup of sugar. Heat that up until it's blended. And then I have three large eggs and one third cup of flour. melted eight ounces of semi-sweet chocolate. Now I'm going to add the one-third cup of flour. Push down the sides a little bit, make sure everything's getting in there. In the meantime, my oven is heating to 400 degrees. And we're going to bake these anywhere between 10 and 15 minutes. What you want to do is they're going to look baked, but you want that little center just to be slightly jiggly. That's going to mean that the middle is going to be green. If you bake them too long, your center will not be as gooey. It'll still be a very delicious little cake, but it won't be as gooey when you cut into it. really needs to blend it up better than this before we add our chocolate. The chocolate uh, was melted over a warm water bath and I've left it at room temperature to kind of cool down a bit because if we add it when it's too warm into the eggs, it will start curdling the eggs. So, 5-10 minutes at room temperature. It's still warm, but it's, it's not really hot. Scrape down those sides again, Just making sure everybody comes to the party. And then we're going to add our chocolate. And at this point, you don't really want to beat this a lot. You just want it to blend so there's no streaks of egg or butter showing. And just making sure there's nothing left on the bottom. Big hunks of butter or egg. Or... That's about it. I buttered six ramekins. Sometimes I've made this, I've gotten five, sometimes I've gotten six. You want to fill them about three quarters of the way full. That's good. When these are done and they come out of the oven, you want to serve them right away. You'll, you'll see. I'll show you. And I'm going to get five. 
a lot of it depends upon the size of your ramekins. Uh, these two ramekins, even though they're both considered ramekins, they are both of different sizes. And I even have some that are just slightly larger than this. But I only have four of the pretty red ones. That one's going to be a little bit shy. So, 400 degrees for about 10 minutes, maybe a little bit longer. Um, I'll take a look at them, test their jiggliness after 10 minutes. Here are our molten lava cakes out of the oven. You can see the center is still a little bit shiny, which means there's a goo in there. We have to let these sit 10 minutes before we can eat them. I know, it's a long time, but we'll be back in 10 minutes to show you how to unmold them and eat them. Here's the lava cakes after 10 minutes. I had let them in the oven for about 15. They're still pretty warm. Oops, I know what I forgot to do. I have to run a knife around the edge. Okay, now it's gonna come out. Ooh. Wow, that's good. Now you can see the gooeyness right there. And if you really want to get fancy schmancy, this is raspberry sauce, which I made from frozen raspberries. Just added a little sugar, put it in my food processor, whirled it around, and then sieved it so to get all the seeds out. Just run a little toothpick through, and you've got little hearts. And there is a molten lava cake with the jiggles. <laughs>